Have you ever wondered why uncertainty is considered Wall Street's number one enemy? It's quite simple really. Uncertainty breeds doubt, and doubt can lead to hesitation and poor decision making. This is especially true in the fast-paced world of finance, where even a slight hesitation can have significant consequences. At the moment, there's a considerable amount of uncertainty swirling around the upcoming Federal Reserve meeting. Investors are nearly unanimous in their belief that interest rates will remain at 5.25%. That's not the issue. The issue is what comes next. The economic outlook for the next few months is murky at best. Investors are hoping for some clarity from the Fed's economic forecasts, which are due to be released alongside the official policy statement. But here's the catch. If the Fed's guidance doesn't align with investor expectations, we could be in for a bumpy ride. The market is a fickle beast, sensitive to even the slightest shift in sentiment. And right now, sentiment is, well, uncertain. That's not to say that a little volatility is necessarily a bad thing. In fact, some investors thrive on it. But too much uncertainty can lead to panic, and panic can lead to a market crash. So as the date of the Fed meeting draws closer, Wall Street is holding its breath. Will the Fed provide the clarity that investors are so desperately seeking? Or will their guidance only serve to muddle the waters further? And perhaps most importantly, how will the market react? This isn't just an academic exercise. The decisions made by the Federal Reserve have real-world implications. They can affect everything from the cost of borrowing money to the value of your retirement savings. So it's not an exaggeration to say that the stakes are high. So as you can see, the anticipation of the Fed meeting has the market on edge. But how did we get here? To understand that, we need to take a step back and look at the events leading up to this point. But that's a story for another time. Or rather, for the next scene. To understand the current market uncertainty, we need to rewind a bit. Let's take a journey back to December of 2023. The air was thick with optimism, with economists, analysts, and traders predicting that policymakers would cut interest rates six times in the coming year. You see, at the time, inflation rates were on a steady decline, and there was a sense that the Federal Reserve officials were ready to unsheathe their swords and slice down the rates. But as we moved into the new year, the winds of sentiment began to shift. A series of events led to a change in the market's expectations, the first came from Federal Reserve Chair, Jerome Powell, whose commentary took a decidedly hawkish turn. This was soon followed by a string of inflation reports that came in higher than expected. Suddenly, Wall Street's dreams of lower interest rates seemed a bit more elusive. The predictions for the first rate cut, initially expected in the early months of the year, were pushed back, first to May, then to June. And now, well, there's a split in opinion. Some believe June will be the month, others are betting on July. The one thing everyone agrees on? Uncertainty prevails. As Goldman Sachs analysts noted in a recent correspondence, inflation has been firmer in recent months, but we think it is still on track to fall enough by the June FOMC meeting for a first cut. This has become less obvious though and our inflation path for the rest of the year is now in a range where small surprises could have large consequences. This uncertainty has even led the same analysts to lower their estimate of rate cuts this year. What was once a prediction of five cuts, then four, is now down to three. So, as we journey from this point of uncertainty towards the upcoming Federal Reserve meeting, the question on everyone's mind is, what's next? Will the Fed follow through with the rate cuts as initially predicted? Or has the recent inflation data changed the game? You see, the Federal Reserve has a powerful tool at its disposal. It's called the Summary of Economic Projections, which includes what's known as the dot plot. This chart, represented by a series of dots, shows where each of the central bank's 19 officials expect interest rates to go in the future. It's a peek under the hood, a look at the gears and levers that drive the decisions of the Fed. With the changing market expectations, all eyes are now on the upcoming Fed meeting. But what can the Fed do to alleviate this uncertainty? Well, that's a question that will be answered in the next chapter of this journey. For now, we watch, we wait, and we wonder. After all, as we've seen, a lot can change in a few short months. The Fed has a powerful tool at its disposal, the Quarterly Summary of Economic Projections. This crucial report is a treasure trove of data that investors pour over to discern the future direction of interest rates. One of the key features of this report is the dot plot, a chart that visually represents where each of the 19 central bank officials expects interest rates to head in the future. Picture the dot plot as a constellation, each star or dot represents an official's interest rate projection. 
The pattern of these stars can signal a change in the Fed's approach to interest rates. A shift in the plot, even a subtle one, can indicate that the Fed is planning a change in its rate strategy. But the dot plot isn't just about the future, it's also a window into the Fed's internal discussions. The official policy statement from the Federal Reserve represents a consensus among the voting policy members. But the dot plot? It gives a sneak peek under the hood, allowing us to see the range of views within the central bank. Now why is this important? Well imagine if just two Fed officials turned slightly more hawkish, signaling a preference for higher interest rates. That minor shift could upset the forecast for three rate cuts in 2024, shrinking it to two. And this change in timetable could cause ripples in the market, leading to potential disturbances. But the plot thickens. There's often a divergence between what the Fed projects and what investors expect. If the Fed plots fewer rate hikes than anticipated, bond yields could surge and markets could tumble. It's like a dance between expectation and reality. And when the two are out of sync, it can lead to a volatile dance floor. The dot plot is a crucial piece of the puzzle. But what happens when there's a divergence between the Fed's projections and investor expectations? Well, that, my friends, is where things can get really interesting. Sometimes what the Fed thinks will happen and what investors think will happen don't quite match up. It's like two dancers moving to the beat of different songs. When there's discord, the dance floor, in this case the market, can get a bit chaotic. Let's talk about what happens when the Fed's projections diverge from investors' expectations. Imagine a seesaw. On one side we have the number of projected rate hikes, and on the other side we have bond yields and market levels. When the Fed projects fewer rate hikes, the seesaw tips. Bond yields climb higher, while markets descent lower. It's a precarious balance, a delicate dance if you will. Now why does this happen? Think of it this way. Interest rates are like the price of money. When the Fed signals that it might not increase this price as much as previously thought, investors get nervous. They start to worry about inflation and the purchasing power of their money. So they demand a higher return for their investments, driving up bond yields. At the same time, they may also start to sell off stocks, causing markets to drop. It's a ripple effect, a cascade of reactions triggered by a shift in the Fed's stance. And this, my friends, can spell danger for markets. You see, the market doesn't like surprises. It thrives on predictability, on knowing what's coming next. So when the Fed's projections don't align with what investors were expecting, it can cause quite a stir. As we've seen in the past, these divergences can lead to increased market volatility and even sharp drops in stock prices. It's like a domino effect, with one piece toppling the next. So as we approach the Fed meeting, it's clear that uncertainty is the name of the game. But as we've seen, it's not just about what happens at the meeting, but also about how it aligns with investor expectations. Because in the end, it's this alignment, or lack thereof, that can make or break the dance of the markets. Today, we've navigated the uncertain waters of the market leading up to the Fed meeting. We've journeyed through the current market uncertainty, a landscape riddled with questions about interest rates and economic forecasts. We've seen how the majority of investors are holding their breath, expecting rates to remain paused, yet uncertainty prevails about the upcoming months. We've delved into the role of the Fed's economic projections, the powerful tool that gives insight into the central bank's thinking about its rate approach. We've peered under the hood of the official policy statement, seeing the mechanics of the central bank's decision-making process. We've also explored the potential consequences of divergence in expectations. Even minor shifts in the Fed's stance can cause ripples in the market, with predictions for rate cuts and market reactions hanging in the balance. As the Fed meeting looms, investors across the world will be watching closely, hoping for clarity amidst the uncertainty. But as we've seen, the path to clarity is fraught with potential surprises. Only time will tell how this saga unfolds.